thank you to all the subscribers. A um, handful of you guys have been reaching out um, in messages and a handful of comments. Um, email, Facebook. By the way, um, don't forget to check out the links below in the video description. It's got the Facebook page for router to brief, the website. I'm not sure if I'm going to have the website up. Um, the end of this year, routertube.com, YouTube and Facebook are good enough, I think. Just wanted to fill you guys in on what's going on. I mean, not that you need to know, not that you care, or maybe you do, I don't know. Um, but again, thank you so much for your support and uh, watching the channel. Um, just a little update. This, this, this video is going to have some vulgarity, maybe. So... Um, don't let your kids watch it. Uh, this last two weeks has been pretty fucked up. You know, I'm going to still keep doing videos, right? Um, I'm going to take a break from the Friday night videos um, until November. Um, I am still going to do regular videos once, maybe twice a week. It depends what type of mood I'm in. Um, there's a lot going on. Um, there was a death in the family a couple weeks ago. And that was a wake-up call. And I don't really want to talk about that. Um, and then, a week ago today, a lot of you guys may understand this. Others may not. One of my best friends, Roxanne... I've had her since she was a puppy, 14 years. She passed away a week ago. I had to uh, put her to sleep. And I've heard the stories. And yes, it is, oh my God, the worst pain I've ever felt. I love you. <clears throat> so, I mean, I, I, I love the fish, don't get me wrong. Dogs have been and always will be number one for me. Um, no offense against the hobby, I was raised with dogs. We had dogs before I was a kid. And Roxanne was my first, my first. I found her when I just went in a store to look. And I got her at 12 weeks of age. And um, then, two years later, I did something I've never done and no one in my family has done. I got a second dog, Jack, who's... <laughs> he's still with me, thank God. Um, he's under the desk right now sleeping in the bed like I've suffered human loss um, one of my the nicest guy I've really met ever Don he was uh, taken from us way too young and he was definitely not meant for this world he was too good he was like 24 and uh, he was killed by uh, a jagoff drunk driver Yep. Yep. The bastard had three DUIs and uh, driving without a license, not twice, but three times. And he, he, uh, he uh, killed Don. That was really difficult to get over because um, I was on the phone with Don. We're talking about music and stuff. He was a guitar player as well. We played uh, guitar together a lot. And uh, I was on the phone with him 10 minutes or so before it happened. And I thought, you know, if I would have just stayed on the phone with him longer or shorter, you know, he'd be here. We all take things for granted. Um, man. So anyway, Roxanne's passing was incredibly sudden. Um, long story short, I 
was leaving at six in the morning. I woke both the dogs up to go outside and, and she wasn't moving. So uh, she had, her spleen was very large, we rushed her to the vet and uh, surgery more than, more than likely wouldn't save her. Um, I, I never, ever would have thought that I'd be putting her down. I mean, she's 14, but she was very healthy and lively. This just kind of happened. Uh, it's a very slow process. No one saw it coming. Um, she's been to the vet. It, you know, you're not going to see it unless you take an x-ray. Why would you take an x-ray of your dog if you, if you didn't need to, right? Um, so she she was suffering and uh, just laying there all day. I, I lay. I took the day off work. I, I just laid with her in, in the bed, um, and then I took her to the vet again because she was labored breathing all day. And um, my wife was like, "She's suffering. You need to put her to sleep." I said, you're on crack. There's no way. There's no way I'm going to put her down. It's, 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 not, it's not time. Um, well, she got progressively worse, and it, and it was time. You just know. Worst pain ever, especially coming home without her. And then my four-year-old asks, where's Roxy? He's cool. They're cool. They're not sad, thank God. Um, I mean, they are, but they're not mourning, you know, which I'm happy for. I am. And then the next day when I came home from work, you know, your mind is just fucked up. And I was, I went to go look for her. And I uh, went to all her familiar spots she used to love. Like, one of her spots was behind the dining room table in the corner. I'm like, I, I just felt like if, if, I, if I went there, I'd maybe see her. Or I'd feel comfort going to her spot. Nope. She wasn't there. But her stuffed animal squirrel was that she was holding on to just two nights before. So I said, I gotta get the fuck out of here. I I just, I, I can't I can't deal with this shit. This, this house has a family in it, but it's been thrown way the hell off balance. Um, it's fucked up. And those of you guys who are animal lovers, you know, those of you who suffered the loss of a pet family member in the past you know and I thought I knew but I haven't lost one in you know 15 years and you forget how much it hurts and I'm not as upset right now because it's been a week and I feel like exhausted I I've not slept I don't I'm not hungry I don't want to do anything. How do you sleep? Do you sleep? Yeah, and it's broken sleep most of the time. <sighs> right now I'm so exhausted because I haven't been sleeping and I'm mentally beat from from all the the pain and all the thoughts. I know time will heal. Um, as far as she's concerned, I know I did the right thing. But man, you guys, I mean, when I got her, I remember, always remember this, like it was just yesterday, just, just yesterday, um, took her to the vet for the first time, a different vet, for her first uh, checkup. She was 12 weeks old, and there was sobbing, crying coming from behind closed door. And this woman came out, middle-aged lady, and she was, well, I knew what was going on. It was, it was obvious she just had put 
one of her animals to sleep. She was out of her mind, you know, didn't have enough Kleenexes, and she left there in a hurry. I felt so bad for her. And Roxanne was this little cute fur ball, maybe the size of a large squirrel. She kind of looked like a squirrel. And she was on my lap, and I just kissed her on the forehead. We only knew each other for maybe a week. And I, and I, and I said to her, thank God that's not us. And then right away I thought, someday it will be, but I dismissed that instantly because she was just born for crying out loud. And now here I am. Come on, let's go. Good girl, come on. It just doesn't make sense. I I know, I get it. I know how it works. Uh, Roxy. Roxy. Creatures are born. Creatures die. Fish, humans, dogs, cats, everybody, everything. But it's, man, it's a black hole pain, man. And the triggers are everywhere. Anyway, there's a lot going on. I've got a lot of thoughts in my mind. There are going to be videos. There'll be one once a week. <sighs> Thank you so much. I hope this didn't bore you. I just wanted to fill you guys in on, you know, what's going on. If any of you guys are suffering the loss of a loved one, I I get it. I've I've lost two great friends and family and animals and it's like, why do I have these animals? Why? Why do I do this to my Because it's awesome. Like right now Jack is sleeping right right there. And then when I'm done with this, it's off off to bed. And all I have to say is, let's go. And he's gone. And we're up the stairs and he's waiting for me in the bed. Animals are fucking phenomenal. The pain is so great with their loss because they love you, as you guys know. Dogs and cats especially. Unconditionally, 100% loyal, devoted. They could be in the worst pain ever, and they won't show it. You could be in pain, and they know it. They'll lay on your stomach. They'll kiss you. They'll be with you. I should have named him Shadow because he never le this dude never leaves my side. So thank God for him. Thank God for the animals, man. I just don't understand why we give them such phenomenal love and care, most people. And then in the end, we're left behind with this black, death, empty, destructive, psychotic pain. Yes, definitely a part of me has died when she passed away. Um, yes, I was in the room with her by myself and the doctor when it happened October 5th. One week ago. Shit, today. I wouldn't have it any other way. I held her the whole time. I wanted me to be the last thing that she saw. I wanted my voice to be the last thing she heard. I just told her I loved her over and over again, and then I'm sorry. Um, and I'll miss her. Anyway, I didn't want to make this video because I didn't want to come across as being stupid. But you know what? It's my channel. I really don't care what anyone thinks. Talking about it makes me feel better. And if people watch this and it makes them feel better, so be it. The first three days were absolute, complete fucking murder. The fourth day was bullshit as well. 
The weekend, I didn't want to do anything, and I didn't do it. I didn't want to do anything. So, I don't know. You know what? These guys don't live long enough. It's bullshit, and it's unfair. But then again, if their average life was 25 or 30 years, that wouldn't be enough either. It's never enough time. It's never enough time. So, thanks for your support. I appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.